Hello and welcome everybody to 1989. 1990, same difference. So everybody knows the Flamingo. Flamingo, obviously, Bugsy, you guys know the history. 1946, December 26, 1946, it opened its doors. You know, people argue, well, 1947 was the real year, you know, got going, whatever. 1946 is the year associated with the beginning of the Flamingo. Obviously, changed ownership a few times. Uh, this was the era when it was owned by Hilton. I was in Vegas last week, and when I, you drive by Resorts World, and they have the Hilton on the hotel. It's Resorts World, beautiful, by the way, when you're on the north side of the Strip. On the freeway, you can see that sign super clearly. Hilton, I guess from the Fauton Bleu, also the other new casino that opened up there. So the Flamingo Hilton. This is absolutely a mainstay and a wonderful collector's chip. Now let's step through the chip real quick and its design, and we'll move on to more detail. But you can recognize this, and I'm gonna talk about the invisible things first. If you shine a UV light, which I have done, it doesn't work well on video, there's a little top hat and cane right here. And you can identify what year the chip was, because they had similar ones to this before 1989, 1990. Uh, go to Chip Guide. I'll put a link in the description below, and then you can go and you can see, you know, shine a UV light on your chip and you can see what version you have. This is the 1989 variety of the $1 Flamingo Hilton chip. So that's the secret there, the UV ink. And as we move around the chip, you'll notice that there are edge spots, three edge spots, all clustered in one spot. The white, it looks like some sort of orange and a yellow. Okay, and again, if you want to know all the details, you can go to Chip Guide or PokerChipForum.com. They have great discussions there. Longtime patron, longtime sponsor, longtime supporter. Thank you, Tommy, PokerChipForum.com. The thank you to all my patrons. Might as well just put up my list right here. But you go to Chip Guide and you can see, you know, what year your chip is and these three lovely edge spots. Now, if we look at the house mold, so this is a unique mold. This isn't like a hat and cane mold. This is made by Paulson. And another disclosure, if you're interested in collecting these, remember there is lead uniformly distributed throughout this material, just white lead powder. So please treat it with respect, all right? Don't let kids chew on these. Don't, you know, put these in your mouth. Be sure to wash your hands. I like to store them in these little cases I got on Amazon. This is a 40 millimeter coin case. I'll put a link to my Amazon shop in the links in the description below. I am an Amazon associate. I make proceeds from qualifying purchases. You can buy a hundred of these for not too much and it gives you a safe place to store your chips. It's 40 millimeter. These chips are 39 millimeter, but they fit close enough for all practical purposes for storing your casino chip collectibles. All right, so an obsolete chip, no longer valid. And as we move around the house mold, you can see there's a $1 mold right here. Flamingo, Hilton, and another $1 mold. I really like the way that is inscribed in there. I'm not sure if that's gonna show up really well on camera. I might roll in a picture at some point here. Flamingo, Hilton again. And as we look at this lovely inlay. It's a smaller inlay, but it has this rainbow pattern, which complements the edge spots really well. Dollar one flamingo over Hilton over Las Vegas, Nevada. Okay, same thing on the other side. And you'll notice that the inlay, <laughs> Paulson famously puts these inlays in skew on this angle, so they're never gonna be perfect. Well, very, very rarely are they perfectly aligned. Okay, this one's in pretty good condition. It has some pretty sharp edges here. Uh, it does have some dirt and some nicks and some wear, but pretty good condition. All right, so like I said, Paulson manufacturer, Flamingo Casino Chip. Let's talk about casino chips here for a second. Let's see if this will fit on camera. So people talk about, and you see this all the time when you're buying poker chips, casino weight. So with a leaded 1989, 1990, casino chip, what do they weigh? Okay, so historically, what are you guessing? I'm guessing about 9.5 grams, maybe 10 grams. They are weighted 10.11, 11 grams. How about that? So they are heavier than more modern chips. Again, Paulson has come out with a news, that's exactly 11 grams. 
with a news release saying that they're reducing the amount of lead. It does, they, I don't know if they said they're removing lead completely, but they're removing the amount, uh, you know, large volumes of lead from their chips. So I expect them to be lighter, okay? So lovely weight there, 11 grams. That's a nice, heavy, uniformly weighted chip. So let's measure it. We are going to pull out digital calipers here. So you can see, um, I'm expecting 39 millimeters. So there are two measurements here. There is the diameter. You can see it's not perfectly. This is inches, let's do millimeters here. Fractional inches, millimeters. Okay, let's zero that. All right, now we are going to measure the, I'm doing this so you don't have to do this with your chips at home. Being very careful here with these metal calipers. 39.15, is that showing up? 39.14 millimeters in diameter. And I'm guessing the thickness, what do you think? 3.3 millimeters? 3.26 millimeters. Lovely. Check the zero on that. Okay, so that's what a casino chip weighs and measures. Pretty interesting, huh? So I'm gonna zoom out just a little bit here. Let's see if I can do this without making anybody motion sick. That's zoom in. We're gonna zoom out a little bit and we're gonna play a quick hand of Texas Hold'em. So grab your deck, quick. If you have to pause the video, do that. Grab your deck, shuffle up, deal yourself two cards. We're gonna play a pseudo hand of Texas Hold'em. It's not really Texas Hold'em because we're not really betting because it's YouTube, everybody. It's just YouTube. So let's uh, shuffle up here. These are some chem face cards. And I'm gonna deal a hand for Jane Doe and myself. Jane Doe and myself. Um, let's put the cut card on the bottom here. Again, thank you to Poker Chip Forum. All right, so ready to go. I'm not gonna look at my hand. We're gonna play this one blind because, hey, no risk it, no biscuit. Two, three. And that's a pretty interesting board. Is interesting another way of saying boring? Oh, now it's getting, <laughs> so if that was interesting, is this less interesting? Now it's getting juicy. It's, I like the juice. Oh man, look at that. Well, I hate to break it to her, but I'm sure I have the 10. Oh, I was kidding. I totally had the 10. I called it, but I don't have the flush. She's not gonna beat my 10. It's not like she's gonna have the eight and the two. Are you kidding me? She is the luckiest luck box of all boxes in the luck world. <sighs> Can you see this? She has the eight and the two. So she has two pair and I just have my precious 10, which I called blind, by the way. <sighs> Why do I play with you? I don't get it. Let us know what you had in the comments below. I'm not moping. I'm not a bad loser. All right, maybe I am. Either way, I'm gonna zoom back in here and leave you with this shot, maybe I'll just roll in a picture or something, of this lovely Flamingo Hilton chip. Thank you to all my patrons. I really appreciate your help and support. It's just general support over there. I post an occasional behind the scene picture, video, comment. So I really appreciate the support. It really helps me out psychologically, keeps this channel alive. I'm working on my 2024 poker chip buying guide along with some other casino chip reviews and stock poker chip reviews. So. Please subscribe. Thank you everybody for watching. I'll see you in the next one.